All righty, folks. We are going to talk about the tools of the trade of investors, flippers, wholesalers. We're going to talk about what all the hype is, what's changing, and what you might need to understand going forward. I know there's a lot of people out there pushing this or that tool. We're just going to talk to Adrian, see what he's using, see what's going on, because I think it is changing. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. And it is changing, Zuber. It's changing massively, right? And I'm not, you know, I'm not to one side or the other. I just, I'm like Zuber. I look at the facts, look at the numbers, and the numbers tell me a story. And that tells me what's working and what's not working, right? <laughs> so you're telling me you may have changed how you're just spending your marketing dollars. Is that is that how I take away that conversation? Yes, massively, <laughs> massively. What used to be X's aren't X's. They're like percentages now. <laughs> <laughs> They're like something different. So let's so let's let's go on the way back machine. Let's go back a year and a half. Yes. It's just good times for everybody. It, your money's falling out of airplanes. What what was what were the tools that were working kind of back then? Everything was working. There wasn't anything that you couldn't use that wasn't working. <laughs> Everything had an X to it, right? You you could do ringless voicemails and that was working, right? Mailers were working. They weren't as hot, but they were working, right? Um, and then I know some of you that crush it on mailers. So please don't take that, you know, statement. I've had a few people. Mailers are really good. I I didn't, I wasn't a <laughs> right. Yeah. So cold calling, cold calling was massive, guys. Text messaging. We had an 11x return a year and a half ago on text messaging. We spent $100,000 to make 1.1 in text messaging. That's, wow. that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, everything was working. There wasn't anything that wouldn't throw on the wall that you, something wouldn't stick. And that had a lot to do with what Zuber started the conversation with is money was flying out of airplanes. It was, it was everywhere. It was easy. Yeah. So, all right. I would argue that we're not in that environment anymore. It, it changed. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people who, frankly, aren't looking at the numbers. They're like, this worked last time. It's going to keep working. And, uh, you know, they're not really being, they, this is just what happens. When right. it's easy to print money, we get all these not good operators around. And they're winning. And then they start gambling and doing dumb shit. Then the business environment changes. It becomes harder. They don't change and they go out of business. Yep. You are a good operator. We've talked about your business for the last several months, what you're changing, what you're not doing, what you've cut out and what you've doubled down on. So where are you today, Adrian? What, where, where's your marketing dollars today? Yeah. So marketing dollars over the last year and a half uh, drastically changed. As I look at KPIs, uh, they went from, it was really nice and pleasant and exciting to open up my Excel sheet to, uh, you know, I had to have a couple of cups of coffee before I actually clicked the button. So <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, we're not seeing cold calling what it used to be. Um, there are professional litigators out there. There's a lady that was featured on the news out in Arizona, Scottsdale. She is making hundreds and thousands of dollars off of robocalls that are coming mainly from real estate investors that are coming from people calling saying, hey, have you thought about selling your house? She goes along with it, gets your information, turns around and sues you and makes you pay $5,000. She's making wow. tons of money doing it. She's not the only one. There's more people. Now, I understand that this has been happening with cold calling over the, few, the last few years. I understand with the new cold calling regulations, this has been occurring. But in California and Arizona and Nevada, I'll speak to those three states because they're that that's where the compliance is the highest. It it it's we tend to notice that our numbers are dropping significantly. Our numbers for the amount of leads, our number for the amount of deals. If I take a look at how much money we've spent in cold calling, right? We had 15 cold callers. We were running about seventeen thousand dollars a month in just cold callers and data. Cold callers and data for $17,000 a month typically used to bring us two, three, four deals a month. It's maybe bringing us a deal, maybe. And that deal is not a normal deal. It's like we're really having to work for this deal. The manpower behind following up and cold calling day after day, we're not seeing the return that we used to see. It, it went from being the highest to being the lowest. And we're seeing marketing channels that weren't the highest, that were the lowest in 2021 that are now starting to be the highest. Mm -hmm. And what is that? That's a lot of digital advertisement. So like paid pay-per-click ads, uh, mm -hmm. that's our highest form right now. Um, 
a, a thing called PPL. Um, it's our highest form right now. It's in essence very similar to PPC, right? But you go into like a speed to lead does it where you go in and you'll buy leads from people mm -hmm. that, you know, have already went out and generated rather than that be on SEO or PPC. We're okay. seeing these different marketing channels that weren't working that are now starting to work because of the change in the climate, right? Mm -hmm. Not only that, homeowners have been bombarded bombarded over the last two to three years in text messaging and cold calling. So they're starting to find another way. I'm not saying that's the way that it's going. I'm saying based on the way that numbers are, we're just seeing higher returns on more digital advertisement than we were on outbound calls. And do you, do you have kind of a sense when that may have changed? Has it been Q4, Q1? When did that kind of evolution happen, you think? November of 2022. Yeah, it's really weird. Q4 was slow for everyone, right? November, November 2022 December? is when I see the needle go. Interesting. And it just and it's, dropped all the way till this month. And this month is a pulse on cold calling. But it's okay. not enough pulse to take care of the negative that we have that we've right. been spending in the marketing dollars for cold calling. I'm curious about this. You don't have to answer it, but I'm going to ask anyway. What were you spending a month on total marketing, say, a year and a half ago? year and a half ago, we were 55000 a month, 55000 a month. So, so again, I can do math pretty well. So it's like 650 grand a year in outbound marketing outreach. Outbound marketing, yeah. So now you're looking at the, you know, November happened, saw a drop. Where, where's marketing dollar now, May of 2023. So that was a year and a half ago. We were at 55. We were at 85 in November. Oh, um, so you went, okay. Okay. We, so went, you up, went up, we went up because we started to make more money. And when you, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, the you whole, double you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Let's put more so money you... to PPC. We can do it, right? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, there's more money there. But what happened, what really happened is we changed. We changed our strategy, and that required a lot of upfront cash. So like in January, okay. we had a $99,000 marketing bill. But Ooh. that's because we went super heavy in commercials. So we're starting okay. to we're starting to do TV commercials now to back up our online advertisement. Ah, uh, I get it. I, okay. I started to, Ty's been talking about this for a while. Ty's been talking about the change in cold calling and the change in text messaging for some time. And, and you guys, I am not smart in any way, shape or form. I listen to what Zuber says. I listen to what Ty says. I listen to what Joe D says. I listen to what I, I just listen. And then I take action, right? So I'm listening to what Ty's saying. And I'm like, okay, he's right. There's something here. So then I started to anticipate that. So we got involved with, um, with, uh, Darren, who does um, Bullseye Marketing, which is Dub Hopkins' uh, partner, right? Okay. Um, yep. Which is huge on on um, commercials. So we're starting to do more of the commercial sector. So a lot of our marketing dollars went out in January. In okay. February, our marketing dollar went down back to 65. We carried 65. And just this month, now we're down to 45. Okay. Very, very cool. This is going to be fun to watch because, again, I think what will happen as this this kind of environment shakes out, you may see it go up in Q3, Q4. Once you once you dial it in and you figure out, hey, this just add water and it grows, uh, I think that's I think you'll be up from here. I think this will be the low, 45. I think what a lot of people do is they they panic, and instead of taking a look at what's really working and figuring out what's working and then going there, they panic and they shut all market dollars down. Yeah, zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or, they, or they'll say, like what you said, they'll gamble and they'll say, screw it, all in, right? And they go all in on areas that aren't giving a return from the beginning. And and you guys, I did this. I did this in November. I did this in December. It wasn't until January that I finally turned the faucet off. I was like, no more. This can't happen. Where I was throwing a bunch of money at faucets that weren't giving me a return. I was hoping and praying that I was going to bring them back to life with money and they right. were dead. So yeah. it's really, it's really doing CPR with dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Throw more dollars. Clear. <laughs> so, so with that, I, I, for all of us, take a look at what's worked for you, right? Take a look what's working. Take a look what's giving you the return and, and go there. Follow the numbers, just like we do in this market. Follow your numbers, follow your marketing numbers, follow your return. And if you're seeing something's not working, either adjust it or don't be afraid to get rid of it. We got rid of yeah. cold calling. Done. 
Yeah, so you went from having 15 cold callers to zero. To zero. And we're wow. going to transition more to digital. So TV, PPC. I, we're still going to do text messaging. Te we can have another call, uh, talk on text messaging because I believe in text messaging. I think we still have, I think we're at the eighth inning maybe of text messaging. I think we have maybe a year, year and a half. There's mm -hmm. a, there's one site that's still in compliance, which is in launch control, and we can still take it advantage of 10,000 text messages a day. Um, oh, wow. So we just got an $80,000 deal in Tustin um, that came from a text message um, that came from a, uh, wait, was it Tustin? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Tustin. It was Culver City. It was Culver City. T Tustin's a different deal. It was Culver City that came from text messaging. Tustin came from text messaging too. Wow. Very, very cool. This is why we have great operators on this channel, because these are things I don't do and frankly never think about. But that's why we have Adrian Hernandez. Where can people follow you? Instagram, guys, at Adrian Hernandez. Appreciate you, Zuber. Thank you for all you do, man. Thank you, buddy.